Hello guys, in this video, I will show you all tweaks, made my PC to boost FPS, improve system performance, fix network problems and reduce input lag. Watch part 1 guide before watching this video. If you like my videos, subscribe, hit the bell icon and don't forget to share. Before getting started, create a restore point. Disabling memory compression. Memory compression feature allows to compress memory in RAM. This can cause latency and performance drops. To disable memory compression, run PowerShell as administrator. Type disable dash mm agent dash mc. Now you need to restart your PC. After restarting watch the system behavior. Now launch any game and check the performance. If the performance has improved, you can leave your windows with the compressed memory disabled, or if you getting low or in game performance and system responsiveness than before, enable memory compression. To enable memory compression, run PowerShell as administrator. Type enable, dash mm agent, dash mc. Registry optimization. Download registry tweaks, link in description. Before optimizing, take backup of registry, open run, and type as regedit. Click on file then select export. Select backup location, and type file name. Extract registry tweaks. Now you need to clean up registry. Registry can become cluttered with missing or broken items as you install, upgrade, and uninstall software and updates. Cleaning registry will help to fix invalid or corrupted entries by repairing your registry. You will likely notice a performance boost, and probably find your computer starts much more quickly too. Use CCleaner to clean up your registry. After installing, click on Registry tab, make sure all these options are selected. Click on Scan for issues. After scan complete, click on Review selected issues. Since we already have backup registry, no need to backup again. Now click on Fix all selected issues. Now you need to run all these registry scripts. 
These scripts helps to optimize your PC for performance and 100% safe. Run CMD as administrator. Type IP config slash flush DNS. It will flush DNS resolve the cache. Type IP config slash register DNS. It will refresh all DHCP leases and re-register DNS names. Type IP config slash release. It will release your IP address. Type IP config slash renew. It will renew your IP address. Type net sh winsock reset. It will reset Windows network sockets. Now you need to restart your PC. Repair Windows image. If your Windows is experiencing blue screen, applications are failing, system lagging, or some Windows features are not properly working, you can fix it by repairing Windows image. Run command prompt as administrator. Type chkdsk. It will check the file system, status of the system's hard drives and, fix errors on the disk. Type SFC slash scan now. It will allow users to scan and restore corruptions in Windows system files. Type DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. will run in advanced scan and repair any problems automatically. Once you complete the steps, the deployment image servicing and management tool will connect to the Windows Update service to download and replace any damaged files in the local image for Windows as necessary. Load Windows. Many default programs that come pre packed with Windows 10 may be slowing down your computer. Debloating Windows rid of most of the pre installed apps and increase the responsiveness, privacy, and performance of your computer. Download Windows 10 Debloater, link in description. After downloading extract the zip file. Open the folder. Run Windows 10 D bloater, GUI with PowerShell. Click on customize block list, then select the pre-installed unwanted apps you need to uninstall. Click on uncheck, if you don't need to uninstall that app. After selecting, don't forget to click on save option below. Click on remove bloatware with custom block list to remove the selected apps. If you don't use Cortana, you can disable it. If you don't use HPDF as your current PDF reader, you can disable it. You can uninstall OneDrive if you don't need it. Finally, 
install.net. Disable unnecessary Windows services. Windows 10 contains plenty of services. Some of the services are essential, but some of them are unnecessary that run in the background and consume lots of system resources. Disabling unnecessary services can free up the RAM, reduce system resource consumption and improve performance. Check out this video, to disable all unnecessary services, video link in description. Clean up cache and junk files. You should occasionally clear the cache on your PC, to help your system run faster and reclaim disk space. A cache is a set of temporary files, used by a program, or the operating system. Sometimes, the cache in Windows can slow down your PC and cause other problems too. Download Clean Manager Plus, link in description. After downloading, extract it. Run Clean Manager Plus as administrator. Select Clean Manager Plus. Deleting files from the WinSXS folder may severely damage your system. It cause booting problem and make it impossible to update. So don't check Windows Component Store. Don't check Compress System Installation. It will slow down your system. Select your current using browser to clear cache, no need to delete browsing history. Don't check Windows Downloads, it will clear your data in Downloads location. Don't check Windows Icon Cache and Windows Shadow Copies. After selecting, click on Clean Up, to clear all cache. Disable HPET, and enable X2 APIC. Open CMD as administrator. Type, BCD edit slash, set disable dynamic tick, yes. This command forces the kernel timer to constantly pull for interrupts, instead of wait for them. Type, BCD edit slash, set use platform tick, yes. This command forces the clock to be backed by a platform source. No synthetic timers are allowed. Type, beats ed edit slash, set use platform clock, false. This command will disable high precision event timer. Type, beats ed edit slash, set TSC sync policy, enhance. This command will tells Windows which implementation of TSC to use. Type, beats ed edit slash, set x2 apic policy, enable. This command will enable x2 apic support. Setting high interrupt priority. Download MSI mode utility, link in description. Extract it, and run as administrator.
select you graphic card interrupt priority is high. Then click on apply. Clear standby memory. Standby memory is a special type of RAND management on Windows, that often causes the computer to slow down, especially 64 bits versions. You can check your Windows standby memory using Resource Monitor. Open Task Manager. Click on Performance tab. Open Resource Monitor. As you can see, my windows have currently 3750 MB of standby memory. To clear this, download ISLC, link in description. After downloading extract it, and place that folder in your system drive. Open ISLC, set as default 1024 MB for list size. Set free memory is lower than as, half of your total system memory. Enable both Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon. Set Wanted Timer Resolution as 0.5. Enable Custom Timer Resolution. Set ISLC Polling Rate as 10,000 ms. After that, click on Start. As you can see, it clear my standby memory. I hope this video will help you to increase your system performance, responsiveness and boost up your frames than before. Feel free to ask any questions in comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay safe and healthy.